Hey family, como estas? Bienvenidos. It's your girl Melissa Q back with another video. And we are actually doing for the first time, we are actually, actually trying these for the first time. Pat on! Yes, you guys asked me if I was going to try this and I said, yes, darling. Well, I ordered this from the brand and I wanted to come, not really with a first impression, but letting you guys know for the first time what I thought about these. I guess that's the first impression, Melissa. That's what it is. But I wanted to actually tell you guys my experience and this is not, you know, an in all be all, but I think that it's important. A lot of people are purchasing these. I do definitely want to give you guys what I initially thought about these. And I actually want to tell you guys about my experience with pattern anyway. I did post on Instagram live. I did an unboxing. And so I unboxed the intense conditioner for tight textures and the hydration shampoo and i actually use this in my courageous conversations you guys will see that in yesterday's video because this is going up on monday for main monday and so these two i actually purchased from the company i actually purchased the leave-in conditioner from ulta because they were sold out I did not know that pattern was going to be so quickly in Ulta as fast. Otherwise, I would have bought this whole thing from Ulta. But I'm kind of glad that I did it separately because, y'all, both of them came super fast from from each company. Now, I was so shocked. I was talking up with another a co-worker of mine, and she had also bought this. And she was like, it came so fast. And I was like, yes, it did. I purchased this on a Monday. It was at my door on Wednesday crazy so first of all tracy ellis ross miss tracy that's what i'm gonna say miss tracy you did an amazing job with the shipping okay when you're purchasing online you get a little anxious okay and as much as we say we're gonna wait if they say it takes the seven to ten days process and everything y'all y'all know y'all get a, a super excited and one of the things that i definitely look at when i'm purchasing online is my shipping experience i will say shipping i think was like six dollars it might have been a little bit more i can't remember but it wasn't bad okay I think every this came to like $21 or something like that. And both of these were nine each. So this came from Pattern Beauty. And this came from Ulta. Super fast. I do like Ulta though because you get the points off. You do all of that. And sometimes you can get this for like half off based upon how many points you have. If you have a 20% off coupon for prestige products. And I don't know. I, let me know you guys. Is this considered prestige? I use the shampoo you guys. And I'm getting some renovations to my bathroom. So hence the reason why I can't show y'all me washing my hair in the shower. But this hydration shampoo I really did like. It is a very. It, it has a really good foam to it. I washed my hair twice. I wanted to see would it really get all of the product buildup out of my hair because I'm high porosity, you guys. And I guess I should have said that in the beginning. I'm high porosity 3A, um, 3, 3A, 4, 4A, 3C hair pattern. And I go more so about me being high porosity when it comes to selecting products rather than my hair pattern, which is, I know this is called pattern, but. Um, I think that it's more important for me to look at the properties of being high or low porosity or normal porosity versus curl pattern. That's just my opinion. And um, I really like this though. The hydration shampoo, it lathered very well. It has a very pleasant scent. I really like the scent. Um, it didn't linger in the hair. And I felt like that this was very, um, it was very pleasant. Um, is I do feel like it's a hydration shampoo and it's not stripping. It does kind of remind me of the Shea Moisture High Porosity Shampoo, that hydration shampoo. This is this is what that experience reminded me of. But on a level up, I, I like this scent a lot better. The hydration, the hydrating shampoo from Shea Moisture, that one has a very strong floral scent. And it does linger in the hair. So if you like that shampoo, you probably would like something like this. But I do like that I even got in the travel size. This is three ounces. I love that she made this refillable, which is so genius. Because otherwise, I'm like, if I really, really like this, then I got to throw this away. No. 
this is recyclable and y'all let's just talk about this packaging doesn't it look like art i put this together and it's so cute i love y'all yellow is one of my favorite colors tracy ellis miss tracy you look amazing in yellow i've seen her wear yellow before and i really like that color but i love how chic this is how um artsy this looks um i really like the packaging as well i used the hydration shampoo really liked it now i want to show you guys the this is the intensive conditioner for tight textures now this is the most intense she has three levels of conditioner i'm gonna let you know i like this okay it now the scent y'all it reminds me of blue magic do y'all remember how blue magic if you never smell blue magic grease hair grease that is what this smells like and i love it i love that scent it is so it, it took me back y'all but let me tell you the reason why i know that this is good this has my curls popping okay look how i can detangle with my hands i look for that in a deep conditioner so i like the fact that this is a conditioner slash deep conditioner i did get the intensive one just because i have serious dangles y'all and i feel like i even could leave this on a little bit more this is emollient which means that i feel like it's coated the hair that is something that i love in my deep conditioner and when it makes my curls pop like this i do like to detangle my hair like this and then twist it and then go in and rinse my hair because it allows me to not manipulate my hair as much when it when it's time to like really rinse rinse my hair out and detangle it and everything i'm not getting the snags at as much so this right here i will be repurchasing i really do like this intensive intensive conditioner i think that it works well and i would consider this a flash mask and that is i know you guys want to see my flash mask of mask that's uh 10 minutes and under on your hair just because i like those fast and effective now don't get me wrong you do need to i feel like in for for hair growth deep conditioning your hair once a week is a good practice to do but i also feel like that deep conditioning is go what's going to lock in that moisture if you are having issues with dryness start using a deep conditioner um once or twice a week i do have a video that i am going to do talking about hair dryness because i've been um y'all been really talking to me about like really having issues with keeping your hair like nice and juicy and moisturized and i was like what have i been doing there's a couple of tips that i did in the beginning to really like jump start my hair and get it into a routine of being like very well moisturized and i want to share those tips with you guys so y'all see how quick i detangled usually if i have um a deep conditioner that i have issues with i'm not going to uh, i'm not going to be able to de like really detangle this way if i can glide and literally this maybe has been on my hair maybe 11 12 minutes not at when i stopped at the 10 minute mark because i put it in and i was filming another video so in that video i'm actually applying it and letting it sit on my hair and it was on there about 10 12 minutes so um i'm filming the second video so this is at the 12 minute mark but anyway i like this i like this deep conditioner and usually deep conditioners i can kind of tell right away just because of the slip this one is emollient i love the scent oh my goodness like this scent is like taking me back y'all seriously so um after i detangle this i'm going to go rinse this out and we're going to put the leave-in conditioner in and i'll let you guys know i leave-in conditioners i really don't know about them until they get on the hair and my hair kind of dries and i can see if there's frizziness you know sometimes when you're out in the elements like right now i'm doing this at home but to be honest with you sometimes it takes being out in the elements to really know how a product is going to react so i'm going to go and rinse um rinse this out now that my hair is detangled i'm going to go rinse this out and we will be back to put on the leave-in conditioner yes holla mm -hmm. 
Tracy. Tracy. <laughs> Girl, Linda. Listen, listen, listen. Tracy. Tracita. <laughs> Girl. Okay. Let me tell y'all. Hair is so hydrated, I almost forgot to put in the leave in. I was about to straight in, go into the jail. Scary, right? I'm kind of scared about this leave in, to be honest with you, because. Oh, before we go into the leave-in, let's talk about the intense um, hydration condi hy hydrating conditioner. I do recommend using, there's some deep conditioners that you can leave in your hair. I highly suggest you guys rinse this out because isopropyl alcohol is in it. Now, does it harm my hair? No, but over time, I don't want that to be like a factor. Isopropyl alcohol has been found to dry your hair out and damage it. So I would rinse this out um, of your hair. I wouldn't leave this intense conditioner in. I would use the leave-in. Okay. And what's making me kind of taken back about this is it has some great ingredients, but it has glycerin in it and it's like down. And honey, y'all. And honey is... It has some great, like, very, it's very, it has a lot of oils, so this should be very emollient, but it does have honey in this, and it's, I would say, I can't tell, there's a lot of products in here to mix up. It has honey, it has sweet almond oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, it has castor seed oil, tea tree leaf oil, it has a lot of shea oil, it has... Let's see, what is that? Biotin in it. And so did the conditioner, you guys have biotin. So this is supposed, and it's higher up on the list. So I'm looking for this to like somewhat strength, strengthen my hair, which is a great thing for high porosity girls, I'm just laying. But um, I did put on some olive oil and a little concoction on my hair to coat it. I did rinse my hair out. Um, after the intense conditioner, I rinse my hair with cool water, I, as cold as I can take it. As you can tell, I'm using this for the first time. Ah, just secure the packaging. That's something that I didn't see pattern do, but Ulta does take down the lid, and so, ooh, hmm, it's very, it's creamy. Let's see how it does. It is creamy. I do get the best results when I do section off my hair in a wash and go. If you guys want to check out my updated wash and go, I will link it in this video. Uh, that is kind of like a start to finish type of deal. Okay, it's coating the hair nicely. Mm -hmm. We're not going to get too excited. Like, I know already the shampoo and conditioner I like. And I used that shampoo twice and um, it got the product built up out the first time. I could see the dirt in the sink and it being rinsed out really well. I really concentrated on my scalp and I just let the foam go down the hair strand. I didn't like try to take shampoo and put it on the ends and everything. I just wanted to, it to flow and um, I rinsed it out the second time I got pure white foam which means that um, I didn't see any dirt so within that first wash I believe I did get everything if I if you want to wash your hair uh, like another time to repeat it I did not feel like I still did not feel like my hair stripped sometimes I can get that squeaky clean which sometimes I really don't like like kinky curly come clean I feel like um, I have to use that very, very like carefully because come clean is, is no joke. It feels stripping if I use it. If I were to use it twice like that, it would feel stripping on my hair. But it does get out all of the gunk. So I'm going to section off my hair. This does feel nice. I could have put it in the gel. I'm using my Smooth Naturals. I wanted to use a gel that like 
I don't have problems with. But honestly, y'all know while my hair is wet, I really can't give you guys a an answer as to if I like the leave-in or not. It It is doing well right now. I feel like as it dries, I will be able to show you guys more. Um, really, the it's going to be like tomorrow looking at my wash and go. And the dew points in California, it's been kind of like dreary today in the morning it that dew like the dew in the morning i feel like i may have an issue but like i said we wouldn't be able to tell i hope this works out though it has glycerin in it but from where it showed on the ingredient list it did it I, i'm praying it does not like affect me too badly sometimes it being like glycerin and honey being in this dough. I don't know y'all, but I'm trying this for the community, okay? I'm trying this for the culture. Y'all asked me and I'm like, okay, girl. Let's put a little part in. I mean, it's really coating my hair. I like to like really, if y'all see how many times I've gone into this is probably gonna be gone in like three more use, two more uses. I do use like a good ounce of product. That deep conditioner might be gone even more. Um, the way that I use it sparingly is if I put it on wet hair, on dry hair, I'm just gonna absorb way more too much, way too much product. So, okay, let's put on our gel. Where's my gel? <sighs> okay. So smooth naturals. I'm gonna go in and like quickly section my hair off. I'm telling you, I get better wash days. I get better wash and goes when I section off my hair. So I'm gonna section off the top and the bottom. This looks good so far. Let's see. I wonder if Tracy is gonna come out with a gel. Does she even use gel? Cause she did the leave-in and just stopped there. Maybe she's formulating a gel. What did y'all think about the oils? Because the argon oil, I was contemplating. I did see castor seed oil in it. And I was like, hmm, I might get it. But $25 is a bit steep. But the whole point of me doing this for you guys is to see if it's worth the $25. And that is pretty pricey to me for an oil. That's the reason why the first initial time I wanted to see what if what I had worked with it because honestly you guys if you have something that's already going to work with the product then why go purchase why go spend that money now like a good deep conditioner a good leave-in is what's most important to me so I did want to try this out first with that if the if in fact my hair like reacts better with her oil then I'll get it. Like, I mean, I'll probably end up getting it in anyway and coming and updating with you guys. But if your hair is good with what you're using, I highly recommend um, using your products. Hence the reason why I'm using, I'm using, I use my oil. I'm using my, uh, I have my gel. Use it with things in conjunction to what you already have because you want to be able to like put some combos together. So, this gel usually does not react with any other product and that's why I, it's my tried and true gel. So, I love this gel so much. Let me put this in a turban and we'll be back. Okay, guys, we are back, and that is it. I am going to try these a couple more times, but initially, these um, I really like. I'm, I, I really can't tell you guys about the leave-in just yet. I will probably come with a dedicated video of like combos, different what I think overall. I think I'm going to eventually. I'm gonna get the oil. But um, I just wanted to come and share with you guys. I do really like the shampoo. 
I like out of all three the the deep conditioners definitely it has me and let me tell you something if you have me at the deep conditioner I will try other products that you have but you got to have a really good deep conditioner and that's just my take on it I think deep conditioners really good ones are really hard to find and um, there are a few in my arsenal that I really really do enjoy um, but yeah I really like the the intense um, I really do like the hydration shampoo and I like the intense conditioner. I hope you guys found this helpful. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.